This is the story of an international man of botany, a man who traveled across every continent besides Antarctica in search of precious seeds and foreign produce. He dodged arrows in the Malay Islands, almost fell to his death in the Andes, and caught and overcame deadly diseases, all so he could bring back new specimens to the U.S. of A. This is the story of David Fairchild. I'm Sarah Burnett. I'm the Vice President of Wellness and Food Policy at Panera Bread. Not only did David Fairchild change the way Americans eat forever, but he stumbled upon the main attraction of our new grain bowls, quinoa. So to find out more about Fairchild, I traveled to Miami, Florida, and visited what was once the home of David Fairchild, the ultimate food curator. Hi, I'm Craig Morell, director of the Kampong of the National Tropical Botanical Garden. Welcome to Dr. Fairchild's Garden. Well, David Fairchild was born in 1869, and with a real penchant for food and for travel and for plants, at the age of 22, he opened up the Office of Seed and Plant Introduction in Washington, D.C., rapidly becoming the chief plant collector for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Thanks to him, we have mangoes, dates, cotton, soybeans, bamboo, and yes, quinoa. To tell us more about Fairchild's adventures, I turned to chief explorer, Chad Husby. I'm Chad Husby, and this is the Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. This fig tree grew from a seed David Fairchild collected in the Philippines in 1939. We thumbed through Fairchild's old photos and correspondence. It's amazing the amount that he documented. And he has notes here like saying, well, I got seeds of these and brought them back to Washington, D.C. Fairchild stumbled upon quinoa in 1898. The diet of ink has once revolved around it, but before he could pass his specimen on to his colleagues... Fairchild almost died. High in the Andes, his mule slipped and lost its footing on a patch of ice at the edge of a canyon. The mule kicked and bucked, and Fairchild grabbed at whatever mud or ice he could find until there was nothing left to grab. Just as a thousand foot drop seemed imminent, the mule hoisted itself up. The quinoa was safe. In 2005, it was deemed a superfood and has been a darling of grain bowls across the country ever since. Fairchild was a true culinary curator, and it's thanks to him that we have such diverse selection of foods to choose from. It's up to Panera to continue to curate delicious, healthful foods for our customers. And who knows what exciting food we'll introduce next. 